Koku, what do you think about European stocks uh, here? I note that the um, the European blue chips index, the uh, stocks 50 is outperforming the U.S. blue chip index, the Dow Industrial Average. The European broader index, the stock 600, is outperforming the S&P 500. Does that make sense to you? Well, I mean, it's clearly a, a very strong rebound from a, a, a very difficult December of last year. But one of the things you have to remember is that uh, low interest rate or negative interest rates remain a drag uh, on banks in general. And this is one of the things that is needed for a sustained recovery uh, when it comes to European sector, which or European stocks in general, which have uh, are very banks heavy. That being said, clearly the positioning and the pessimism when it comes to Europe is at a stream, and you could clearly see this sort of bound continue. But ultimately, you sort of get the valuation you deserve. It's all depend on how much return on equity you're able to generate versus your cost of equity. Koku, we talked a lot about bank consolidation yesterday. Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank, of course, we see um, those two stocks falling today after gains in yesterday's session. But that led to a lot of conversations, and indeed Siemens, Alstom prompts a lot of conversations about national champions or even regional champions. Is this an investable theme around Europe, do you, or do you think it's too confused? Do you think Europe knows what it wants to achieve or what it's allowed to achieve on that front? This is a very good point because uh, when you look across the cycle, uh, typically when you go through a releveraging cycle, which is roughly where we are today, a lot of companies and corporates go through merger to generate cost synergies because they're trying to be more profitable. Um, when it comes to financials, clearly the pressure is on regulation. There's a regulatory pressure on capital. So when you're too big, you know, you ultimately have more operational risk and you have to take more capital as well. So it all depends on the European Banking Union ultimately to see whether, you know, merger can generate profits and synergies by being able to sell and trade across Europe. Uh, and this is where we need to see more progress being done. Yeah, still a long way off, isn't it, European Banking Union, Koku? I mean, you hear from the regulators that um, the, the executive should be doing it now, cross-border mergers. But when we talk to the executives, they say there's no way. They just can't do it with these rules. Absolutely, and this is where the, where the challenges uh, lie, because uh, ultimately, you know, there's a lot of uh, questions around the growth rate in the periphery. If you look at Italy technically being in recession, so this has huge implications in terms of non-performing loans. Um, so I think this is where we have to be sort of more patient and wait uh, to get more progress on the regulatory front to see M&A uh, be more sustainable uh, as a uh, outcome. And what role uh, low interest rates in Europe? I mean, a lot of people talked about yesterday, OK, bank merge might cut costs, but it doesn't change the low interest rate environment. Some, including the Bank de France governor, talking about how low interest rates may be a part of the problem now in terms of generating growth for Europe. Absolutely. And I think this is where it's uh, the big theme that are being talked about today with investors is the Japanification of Europe. Uh, are we going into the same last decade that we saw uh, Japan go through? Because uh, Europe hasn't really gone out of its uh, sort of excessive liquidity and negative interest rate environment. And this ultimately is a drag on sort of the ability to the, of the private sector to invest. Uh, it means that government essentially suck up a lot of the investment from the private sector. So you don't have a lot of investment for buy companies, etc. Um, so interest rates ultimately are an indicator of long-term growth prospect. And unless we have structural reforms, um, it will be very difficult to unleash the uh, growth potential of uh, European uh, equities and, and countries.